What up, ladies and gentlemen? Your boys are back. All right, we've got some in-game news. In Bleach, Brave Soul version 10.1 update planned for early June. So we still got a few weeks to go. So changes to summons and pack screens. To make the details of simultaneously open summons easier to understand, we plan to adjust the summon screen. We also be making adjustments to make the description of packs clearer and easier to read. Well, you know, moving forward, we, we think that that'll be refreshing to the game. Adding something like that, where if you were to click on a pack, you can see what, what's inside it. Again, it does make it a little bit easier for us to know exactly what we're buying, rather than having to scroll through the whole thing, but that is a good thing. Next up, this is the big one. Advertisement viewing rewards. We plan to introduce a feature that will allow you to view advertisements in exchange for rewards. There will be a variety of rewards for viewing advertisements, such as increase in monthly login bonuses and access to exclusive summons tickets. Now, me and Dom have had a little talk about this, right? And what we take from this is that advertisements in the game aren't always a bad thing. You know, as long as the rewards are good, advertisements aren't bad, depending on how many advertisers they drop. Like in some of the games that we play, there's up to three to five advertisers. We think that's a good number. You know, it's not bad, but again, it all depends on what the rewards are. So what they said here was monthly login. So what they could be saying is if you log in and you watch adverts for five days in a row, maybe down the line, you would get a guaranteed summons ticket. Or something along those lines. Or at the end of the month, your rewards will get better. So the monthly one isn't isn't a problem right here. All right, so the other one, the exclusive summons ticket. Now, see, in my head straight away was, you remember when we were in the midst of Thousand Year Blood War, they had those tickets. If you were um, Thousand Year Blood War exclusive tickets, you had a low chance of pulling a Thousand Year Blood War character. Maybe they might give tickets like that, where it's a low chance to pull maybe a seasonal character. Dare I say an old movie character. I mean... Or could be accessory tickets. Could be, you know, a low chance of pulling a goal. We don't exactly know the full details of what it could be, but I think that, that part's exciting. Exclusive summons ticket. We're looking forward to that. And lastly, for you Stern Ritter Quincy lovers out there who got these characters, I'm, we're thinking new accessories. It's got to be rooted towards them, right? They plan to introduce new accessories, which will allow more strategic play. The last time they said that, we had some decent accessories, like for Soul Reapers, and the Spartans, you had the accessory with the 20% normal attack damage and you can roll 30. And from the SP side of things, you had 50% up and you could roll with, with the tea set and the teapot and you can roll another 30 on that. So that's 80. So we're guessing it's going to be those accessories. If there's anything else included to the game, that would be good too. But yeah, let's get towards that. Guys, your thoughts in the comment section below on everything that we talked about today. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe to the channel. That's your boy Dom. This is your boy Castle. This is your boy Castle.